Hello, it's Sarah. And today's video, I wanted to share something really cool that I came across on Facebook. Um, this is an artist called Jer uh, Jerica Owen. No, Erica Joanne. And I've seen her work before. She does she combines acrylic painting with pencil so uh, she likes the um, the brand here we go Prismacolor my box is over there anywho I'll go get it these are the Prismacolors and I've actually seen these in uh, Walmart for really reasonable like 24 bucks or something I have the 24 pack and I have the 12 pack so I have a couple doubles but then I've also purchased them individually at Michaels or um, different art stores you can buy specific colors that being said she has some very sweet uh, designs that have caught my eye and then I thought well she definitely uses Josonia paint and that is a different animal than I'm used to so when I've done my painting tutorials, I've always used the uh, floating technique as the way that I highlight and shade. And Erica uses a wet dry brush, so it's very interesting. And the reason I wanted to share this with you is because these are the packets um, that are a dollar right now on her website. Um, this is the designs. There's right now there's only three of them but there there will be nine they are three by three quilt blocks and I just think they are so cute these little wooden pieces Joe cut me before I knew what she was going to be using she actually has you paint them on watercolor paper um, I want to say 160 pound um, anywho I that that's just you know if you get the packet all of the information is listed there but I was gonna just do a quick demo on why I think you should give this a try I've painted two of each design so far right yeah so these are my originals I followed now that that being said there all there's a limited time that she's gonna have these available I think and then she's gonna put them together into a pattern packet like that's one packet with all nine designs I think um, so for right now she's kind of designing them as she goes so she does a live YouTube I'm sorry no 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 Facebook it's on Facebook and that's where I've gotten confused before because I go on YouTube and it's not there it's on Facebook um, Erica Joanne art and the videos so she goes live on Thursdays which it's going to be two weeks now in between because she's doing a um, convention I'm pretty sure anywho um, so I will put the information in the description but look how adorable this one's a bumblebee this was the first block and she kind of designed them in the live which was so awesome um, and then so you don't have any directions at first until the next day she puts them on her website so I downloaded the packets for one dollar and then I can go back and watch the instruction with her um, and it was very cool so then I did these then I painted these because Joe had cut me these but she's actually doing them on like really thick blocks so that you'll be able to stand them up and then she might even do a winter design for the back so this is a floral theme quilt but look what happens when you put them together and I, of course I put my gold leafing on the edges but when you put them together it kinda has the the outline of like a quilt block right so I want to show you then I thought I could make ATCs with these because I just want to keep practicing because it is such a different um, flavor I'm going to share I'm going to show you why I say that Alexa turn on the craft fan so what I did to paint with her was I have some Josonia paint I've had this forever I've taken classes you guys for 30 years so some of my art supplies are very old 
that being said these are holding I mean they're in a tube and as long as no air got to them these are considered gouache which I am no um, professional but I don't know what the difference between the different types of paints are but they're considered a gouache and just Sonia paints very um, different that so there's not a lot of floating if any anyway so I made ATC's I just took the designs and kind of stretched them out a bit I just sketched them onto these ATC's and I just want to show you the difference so I'm going to use yellow oxide I have been using these so what I did because my my decorative painting brain I didn't have the colors that she suggested so I substituted them for what I had instead of looking through the ones I did have that were close enough so instead of like where is it this yellow of course I can't find it right now oh it's in my hand <laughs> deep ochre I have yellow oxide it's the same daggum thing so let me show you what I want to show you okay this is <clears throat> acrylic paint by DecoArt Americana. It's in a bottle and it's, you put it out and it's a lot wetter. Okay, now this is the Gisonia gouache and I'm kind of getting it moving. I hope this works because I have not opened it in 20 years. <laughs> I don't know. All right, it seems to be okay. And I'm going to put a little time. Oh, so see, I, that's why I tried to shake it. All right, so let me show you why I wanted to show you this because I'm just gonna take a round brush and show you the difference. Let me zoom in. Okay, so when I paint generally, I use water as the only medium that I need to make the paint do what I want it to do. Now, Erica also has on her website a kit of mediums so little bottles this size of flow medium glazing medium different mediums okay forget about that all I want all I need you to know about mediums is this paint does not behave the same this is do you see how it's like it's liquidy right so it's I, I have no water in my brush at all okay so I'm just gonna wipe that out and now I'm going to come over to here. Do you see the thickness of it? It's more like, what is that? The cons and, I, and I mean, this isn't even, you know, shaken up or anything. It's thicker, right? So the mediums you would use to loosen the paint up. And I mean, some of this comes out of the tube. This is the Norwegian Orange, which I've been using. So this is Norwegian orange this flat anyway um, and then this is what I did the background with brown earth she was using espresso but I had brown earth so I did my backgrounds with brown earth I want to do sapphire let's just play with sapphire I'm, I am shaking the tube because I just whatever's in there that's settled I do want it to kind of mix together but again don't know what oh this is looking good oh it squoze out perfect. Oh, stop squeezing out. I don't want you to. Um, but look at that. Now, that being, this is, this could last as absolutely, uh, for 20 years. <laughs> I mean, that's a big tube, first of all. But look at the consisto. I want to dry this. It's very thick. So it doesn't spread the way that did. And, okay. But this is the delightful part that I want to share with you. Okay, I'm going to take my ATC. And I'm going to base coat this uh, planter. Now the top parts, there are some yellow. Hold on. I want to do one thing before I do. And I thought, actually, I was using my chalk pencil, which I wasn't using my chalk pencil. I was using this. Here's my chalk pencil. But I was actually using the white. So she has, um, let me just... I'm going to attempt to go around these because the way she does it is, and you, I wasn't even in the shot, 
is she leaves these blank areas like you don't I mean I can't figure I can't tell you what I'm trying to tell you without showing you all right I'm just gonna go for it now my brush was in water but I dried it off pretty good so it there's really no water in here and I'm loading the brush like this with just this paint no water then you come to your piece and I'm gonna flatten it out a little because this is new to me I'm gonna take off my bracelet too but what I want to do, I'm going to add white to it or um, but do you see how it gets that skippiness to it? This is the beauty and this is what she wants. So for me, coming from the decorative painting world of solid base coating it was so fun and it's still fun. Every time I do this it's just so different. Now, I'm using older brushes, ones that I don't, because this beats your brush up a lot more than um, acrylic paint, because it's, I can't, ex I'm not, I don't have words today, but this is what she wants. And you can fill it in as much as you want, but the idea is you want some of those dark spots to show through from the background. And it gives you that antique look already. So I use different colors now. Because I hadn't looked through my stash, I was using turquoise blue, and it just covers differently. But this is what, and then she would add warm white which I do not have warm white I have titanium white and I have um, but for, for sapphire sapphire is this what I just put out yes yeah, sapphire I think I'm going to use aqua and show you one more thing so I'm going to I shook it up a little bit and I really only need a tad you don't need a ton because I have a brush in my mouth that's why I'm talking funny oh I'm going to clean off this, oh gosh darn it, can't get the threads to, okay. I'm going to clean off my brush and then dry it, like get the water out of it. And I'm going to take this, what was it called, turquoise? Aqua. And I, can you see what I'm doing? I am loading my brush in it. So the brush is pretty much all the bristles then I'm gonna blot again and just get the color and then I'm gonna just use the tip and I'm gonna make that border and watch how I'm not in the shower so I'm using oopsie dang it by trying to stay in the shot I my arm went out but I I load the tip of my brush and then I can direct the line kinda I'm sorry I am NOT my words are not good today I think my enthusiasm is way ahead of me anyway what this really feels like is playing for me and I am just seeing what the color does and I'm experiencing it like in real time because I've I don't really know what to expect the way I do with when I paint other things does that make sense so whatever's happening I'm just accepting it and letting it be what it is because that's what it is I I can't explain it any better. Um, see, then I get lazy and I don't load my brush exactly right and I'll put too much paint on it. And then it starts to look less scratchy and more opaque. But I'm learning. I'm starting to understand what you want to do. 
I hope this is making sense. This is a very greenish blue. It's a lot greener than um, the uh, turquoise I was using. This is like the green turquoise. So anyway, but then watch the magic that happens. I'm going to use this, which is not the same at all, but I can change the color. So this is a deco or warm white and I'm just going to put some on my palette and I'm just going to take this dirty brush and pull a little away and just mix it into my brush. This is another thing that Jo Sonia is a is a paint mixer. She's an artist from back before they had bottles of every color under the sun cuz I'm a bottle baby. I learned to paint using these specific colors that you buy in a bottle and I never learned how to mix paint so this was just a very easy gentle way for me to get different values by adding warm white to the paint so now I'm going to take this brush that I and I'm just going to go whoops gently right in the middle of the border and just put a highlight there And this is what we did the whole piece. That's all it was. It was so um, easy to follow. And e I just love this little design too. So um, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so see? Yeah, it's showing up. So I'm rinsing that color out because I want to show you one more thing. Like doing this strawberry. Let me see. Oh, I definitely have... I think I might just use the Norwegian orange because it's like a very red orange and then when you add the white to it it um or let well, you know what let me just go ahead and do this since this is out so this part I'm gonna again just get my brush loaded up with the sapphire color and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the war oh, I'm not in the shot a little bit of the warm white and make a new puddle right here just using the paint that was in my brush and the warm white and yeah it softened the texture of the color of the paint because this has got more liquid in it and this is more gouache I guess that's the difference you know it's the maybe it has to do with the texture of the paint but anyway I'm gonna take that off my brush I took most of it off because it was way too wet and just using the tip I want to come in here and I'm gonna add this lighter color see how much more wet it is it's a different situation when you use that it's not just straight gouache it's a lot it's like smoother I can't explain it and that doesn't even look right um, it looks way brighter like I added too much but anyway you guys get my my gist um, I'm going to add, I'm going to do this bumblebee. So this whole bumblebee is going to be this, I think it's yellow ochre. So I'm just gently going to pull and I'm going to leave the connected part like with the background showing through so I can see where the circle starts and circle ends if that makes sense and I hand drew this so it's wonky and whatever I don't care because I'm just playing I just cut some watercolor paper um, and base coated it with the um, that brown I had I, I think I sanded it in between but I, I thought I think the top layer I did not sand because I wanted it to have some texture because it, if it doesn't have the texture it won't give you that kind of antique appearance I remember when I did my B on this one I was able to get my highlight so much brighter than this one and I mean yeah you can tell it was so fun. I started to understand. I'm not paying attention where I'm, where, what I'm doing because I'm so 
like involved in this like so do you see okay so anyway I am going to put in the description where you can locate the live class which is on tape now and like I said so that's it I think this had a little bit of now I'm gonna switch brushes because I have a littler like a round a number two round and it's just a little smaller and I have more control I hope I'm in the shot but these three I'm gonna flip it I like to start at the edges and just get some color down there then you can tweak it after see like I didn't get the pointiness you can come back and hit your edges after you um this is bugging me it's in my way okay now I feel like I can focus okay so I'm just gonna kinda tip my brush and get the tip and then what happens is she takes the pencils at the end and you can add your detail lines with the pencils in a way that's just it's just different again it's just fun to try I'm gonna move this down a little because I want it closer to the center to, to use a new medium new to me like I've done pencil but never an actual whole project with pencil I you know I've played with it in my art journal or whatever um, so that's it see see the difference oh, I can't wait I'm gonna finish these <laughs> now that being said mm, I should do a demo for you but I don't want to I don't want to mess it up I was just gonna paint this the wings with old parchment because that's the color this color here is what she used for the wings it was like well this is the comparable color let me see if I have um where did I put my gesonas I have this pearl I might use this I have uh, this color smoked pearl I think I'm gonna try see what this looks like and it's a wing a bee, a bee wing I'm just shaking it because it does separate oh let me come up I hope that was good I'll watch this back and then I'll have to either refilm it or okay oh perfect it's a little whiter than the than the old parchment because the reason she wants it a little off white is because she highlights it so I'm not going to get much of a bump up if when I highlight it in other words right so I'm going to use um, a little bit thicker brush get the water out of it load it in this it's called pearl let's see what's it called smoked pearl maybe that's just a gray maybe it's really just a reference for a gray color I'm not really sure if it has a pearl essence to it and then I'm gonna paint these wings Again, staying on the edges first. Oh my God. I'm sorry. It just makes me so happy. I never, I haven't done this in forever. This is what used to happen when I would take a class, um, like when you go to convention or you know, I used to have a chapter, a local chapter of the Society of Decorative Artists, Painters, whatever it was called. And I would get this once a month where I would just try something new. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. So I probably have a little too much paint on my brush. It's not as dry as it should be. Because I'm a heavy hand. And I've said that over and over. So this takes... A lot more effort for me to focus and think about what I'm doing before I 
just overload my brush like normal if I'm on automatic pilot. But anyway, it just makes me happy. And I can't do anything else. Like, I'm obsessed. I've been painting these for three days. I got, I want to show you this real quick. <clears throat> but that's it. Let me come in. You see? Oh, <laughs> what makes me happy? Anyway, um, these I got. This off of Amazon. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have a frog. <clears throat> Little, different kind of shapes. Ovals teardrops, rounds, and some hearts. The hearts are really tiny. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and these are cabochons. Look at the sparkle in that. So I am going to be wrapping these at some point um, to figure out how to do that because I've not done that. I've only wrapped things with a hole in it already. So, but I cleared my desk and I just want it because, like I said, this is the third week she's done this. She does every Thursday, I think around four my time, she was doing the live class on Facebook. So that was her creating the pattern, kind of drawing it out on watercolor paper and paint and then painting it. And um, these are the first three she has. This is one one two three and then if you go back into her jo Erica Joanne art you can find the videos so then la yesterday I painted along with her um, and I did them all so now I'm caught up and I can't wait for the next three and then three more there's six more there's gonna be nine all together um, so that's it you guys try something new today alright thanks for watching